Hello there, Hippo friends. Miss Ginny here. I'm so glad you are here to join me today. We're going to read a book called You Can't Move a Hippo. Hey, we're the hippo class, and this is a book about a hippo. You can't move a hippo. I want you to think about that, and at the end, we're going to answer why can we not move a hippo. All right, let's see. I'm going to get started, and the first thing I have to do is I have to put on my glasses so I can read the words to you. There we go. Okay. It was hot, and the sun shone down on a windy river, a wobbly bridge, and a very sleepy hippo. All right, so here's our bridge. I'm going to put our hippo on there. We're going to pretend that he's sleeping, okay? Maybe I should lay him down. There we go. The hippo was huge and heavy and large, and the hippo was in the way. No one could cross the bridge. This is terrible, said the lion. Here's a lion right here. Let's see if I can make him stand without tipping over. There we go. My favorite shady spot is on the other side of that bridge. And I can't get to it. With that hippo lying there, he's going to have to move. You mark my words, said the green and blue parrot who sat watching from the trees. You can't move a hippo if it doesn't want to move. Nonsense, said the lion. He'll move for me. Don't you forget, I'm a king of the jungle. I will order him off the bridge. And he strolled right next to the sleepy hippo. Roar! I ordered you to move. But the hippo didn't move. Not one little bit. Don't you realize who I am? Roared the lion. Again, shaking his impressive mane. Now move. But the sleepy hippo just slept on. Snoring as he did. See? Squawked the parrot. I told you so. Mmm, he must be really sleepy. So now the lion goes back down. What is on earth going on? Said the long-tailed monkey scrambling down from the tree. There's ripe juicy fruit on the other side of that bridge and I can't get to it with that hippo lying there. Here's the monkey. He will just have to move. But he wouldn't. We've tried to order him off, but he just won't go. Then we're going to push him off the bridge, said the monkey. Come on. But wait, squawked the parrot. You can't move a hippo if he doesn't want to go. Hogwash, said the monkey. You just watch. And they made their way up to the sleepy hippo. And they both tried to push him out of the way. Mm, push, push. Is that nice to push someone out of the way? But the hippo didn't move when they tried to push. Push harder, said the lion. That's all right for you to say, puffed the monkey, but I've got the heavy part here. But the sleepy hippo just slept on, snuffling as it did. See, squawked the parrot. I told you so. And here's our little parrot. See? He flies up high. What a kerchuffle, said the briskly warthog as he lumbered along. So we're going to move the monkey. Oops. And this is a warthog. Okay, so I'll put him right there by that sleepy hippo. The best mud for rolling in is on the other side of that bridge, and I can't get to it with that hippo lying there. He will have to move, but he won't. We've tried to order him off, and we've tried to push him off but he just won't go. Then we must try something else, said the warthog. We must bounce him off the bridge. But stop, squalled the parrot. You can't move a hippo, and you can help too, snapped the lion as he grabbed the parrot's beak, and they all made their way to jump on the bridge. Okay, so I don't know if I can fit them all on here, but we've got, let's see, we've got the warthog, and we have the monkey. I'm going to put him on top of the warthog, see if he stays. Hmm? No, I don't think so. Here, we'll put him this way. 
All right, and we'll pretend the lion is up there too. We'll stick him right there. Okay, and then here's the bird. Uh, well, let's see. I guess I'm gonna put the bird down here too. <laughs> Don't have enough room on that bridge. Okay. Ready, set, now they get a bounce, and they go jump. And you know what happens to all the animals? They fly off the bridge. Woo! 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 Hmm. Down they went on the wobbly bridge. And as they went up and down, the hippo went up. Hooray! But then the hippo went down. And when the hippo went down, the others went up, up, up. And then down, down, down. See him? Up and down. Splash! They went into the river. C squawked the parrot as he dragged himself out of the water. You don't need to say it, snapped the lion, but you can't move a hoop hippo if it doesn't want to go. Oh, look at the animals. <laughs> Excuse me, squeaked a little mouse as he hurried along. What seems to be the trouble? We're trying to cross that bridge, but that hippo just won't move. We've tried to order him off, we've tried to push him off, and we've tried to bounce him off, but he just won't go. Let me have a try, squeaked the little mouse and he scampered toward the sleepy hippo. So here's my little mouse. He's not that little actually, but there he is. Okay. He wriggled his nose and twitched his whiskers and whispered into the hippo's ear. Okay, so I'll whisper here, ready? Whispering something. Okay. And with an enormous yawn, the hippo stretched and got up. And he and the mouse wandered off, off across the bridge, side by side. So I'm going to go off the bridge. Here goes the mouse. Wow, squawked the parrot as they all stared at the huge, heavy hippo and the tiny little mouse. Hmm, whatever could he have said to make that hippo move? Do you know what he said? I don't know. And the little mouse turned around and smiled. Please, he said. And that's how the hippo moved. The end. Wow. So what do you do to move a sleeping hippo who is on the bridge? You say, Mr. Hippo, will you please move off the bridge? And he said, Okay, thanks for being so nice. Was the not lion nice when he roared? No. Was the monkey nice when he tried to push him off the bridge? No. Was the warthog nice when he tried to jump up and down and bounce on the bridge? No. What about the mouse? Was he nice? Yes. He used his manners. He said, please. Aw, isn't that nice? Okay, there they go. All right, friends, thanks for listening to the book. I will see you later. Bye-bye.